Hello everyone, welcome to Dion's Hoop Life Sports and Entertainment. Um, in this video, I'm sharing um, this interview um, with Scottie Pippen, and he's going to express his thoughts on it. And man, I was shockingly surprised by a lot of the stuff he, he, he said. It just really shocked me, so let's get into it right now. Help me understand the GQ article where you talked about the 1994 playoff game when you refused to go back in the game and Phil set up the play for Tony Kukoc. Well, I mean, there's not much to be said. If you go back and look at when Scottie Pippen entered the Bulls and when Tony Kukoc entered the Bulls and who deserved the last shot of the game. No, 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 I understand that, Scotty. I'm just going by what you said. You said who you deserved? need to read between the fine lines. And then you go on to say it was a racial move to give wow. him Tony Kukoc a ride. Yeah. So oh, I mean, that's that's a bit that's a big, really big, drastic to label Phil Jackson a racist because he didn't get the ball in the last part of the game. If you knew that Scottie Pippen had been with the Bulls from '87, battled through the Pistons and every other team that we had to get to those three they championships. Don't Wouldn't you give Scottie Pippen one opportunity to get a last second shot without well, Michael Jordan? But Kukoc like, made that shot. One year without Michael Jordan. Can I get one shot? That sound like, like, I'm doing all the dirty work. That just that just sounds like a lot of like jealousy and and I don't know, it just sounds like a lot of like resentment that he's in jealousy over that I mean I don't know what to think of that. I, I don't know. And it, it seemed like he's still holding grudges about that issue. And then the thing about it is, on that play, Cool Coach made the he he made the shot and won the game. So I I'm, I don't even. You was it would you would think he would have gotten over that? And to me, that's kind of childish. Like. He kind of let his ego get in the way of that, you know? Like, yeah, that, that's all ego, all the way. And, I mean, Kukoc, he was a good shooter. I mean, not saying that Scottie Pippen couldn't make that shot, but Phil Jackson went, just went with the, and it ended up working. So, I mean, how can you be mad at that? But all of that I understand from the basketball standpoint. But when you say a racial move. Well, why would, why would Tony, who was a rookie, Get the last second shot, and you put me up the bounds. What kind of That's sound? what I mean, racial. Like not that racial. was Scottie Pippen's team. But but wow. Pippen was but, but, on pace to be an MVP that year, right? Oh, it's yeah. all ego. Okay. Well, why would you put him in a position not to be successful? Why wouldn't you put him in a position I mean, to you... succeed? Michael Jordan is not there. So who's next in line for you? Oh wow. But if you talk to Phil about this, because you, by saying a racial move, then you're you're calling Phil a racist. Right. I don't got a problem with that. Wow. Do you think Phil was or is? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, do you remember Phil Jackson left the Lakers, went road <clears> back <throat> on Kobe Bryant, and then came back and coached him? I mean, who would do that? Wow. You name someone in professional sports that would do that. You know? That's I well, think he tried to expose Kobe wow. in a way that he yeah. shouldn't have. You're the head coach, and you're the guy that sits in the locker room and tells the players, this is a circle, and everything stays within the circle okay. because that's what team is about. Okay. But you as the head coach open it up, yeah. and now you go out and you try to belittle, at that time, probably one of the greatest players in the game. Well, it feels like he's disloyal. I don't know if that makes him a racist. Yeah. Well, that's your yeah. way of putting it out, and I have my way. I was in the locker room with him. I was in practices with him. Uh, mm. You're looking for him afar. Mm. Yeah, and, and look, that's why I wanted to have you on. But I go back, and Phil designed a play for Steve Kerr when Mike was <clears> there. And Mike, Mike didn't have a problem with that, did he? Well, he didn't design it for you're not, he you're, didn't, you're not setting me up to answer the right question. What do you mean, Phil? He didn't set up. It, was, it wasn't. Steve it wasn't a play for Steve Kerr. He said that play for Michael Jordan. Yeah. I thought in the huddle, Mike says, "I'm going to throw you the ball. You'll he be did. open at the foul." Now between them that, two, and 
Phil had nothing to do with that? No. Man, you don't want to get this show started because it'll take us a long time. Do you know all those cameras that's sitting in that huddle who they was working for? No, this is the part I don't agree with. He's going to go in way left field, I think, in my opinion. Let's listen. The NBA. So you know who Michael was speaking to when he said that, right? <laughs> that was that was playing. Wow. That was speaking to the to the camera. Plan. That wasn't speaking out of what we're going to have to do, what the play is going to be. That was speaking to the camera. Wow. Had John had uh, John Stockton not came down, trust me. <laughs> but that was building his own documentary wow. because he knew he was controlling the cameras. Come on. See, that part, I, that's crazy. Like, why would he say that? Like, my, I don't, I don't, I, to me, I don't agree with that. Michael Jordan, I don't think he was looking at no cameras or even trying to appease cameras for a documentary. He wanted to win the game. So he, he basically was telling Steve Kerr, Hey man, if if that if John Stockton double me, be ready. That's all he said. He said if John Stockton come double me, be ready. Steve Kerr said, I'ma be ready. If you if he comes off, I'll be ready to shoot it. That's what Steve Kerr said. And that's all that was. But for Scotty to say it was all planned and he did it for a document I don't know. That's too much. But that was building his own documentary. Wow. Because he knew he was controlling the cameras. <sighs> Unbelievable, man. You understand English? Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. He said so you understand all English. those cameras that was working were working basically for Michael Jordan. Unbelievable. I can't Not believe for the Chicago Wolves. But they were building the Come Fly With Me, the what? Air Jordan videos. That's what it was. It I can't believe it. That was not naturally spoken. Okay. Wow. Oh. Did you hear that? Did you? He said it wasn't naturally spoken by Michael Jordan. That he planned that. He planned to tell Steve Kerr that if if John Stockton doubles him to be. That don't make no sense. Wow. I don't even know what to think, man. <sighs> Man, this is my first time hearing Scotty Pippen talk about this, and it's kind of very disheartening to hear this coming from him. I I don't get it. I mean, it sounds like it's a lot of bitterness and jealousy, and even towards Michael Jordan. I mean, I don't even understand. I, I don't know. I don't even know what to think anymore, man. I, I I don't know. It's really sad to me. It's really disheartening to hear Scottie Pippen talk like this. It really is. It really is. It was rehearsed. Okay. Rehearsed. Uh, did you guys understand? He said it was rehearsed. That's what it was. It. That was not naturally spoken. Okay. Right. That was rehearsed. Rehearsed. Okay. Uh, did you guys oh understand God. that he was doing a documentary that last year? We understood from Phil Jackson that the NBA wanted to do some behind the scene footage for the team documentary. That's what we was understood. That's what we were sold. But that wasn't how it all went and died. Wow. I don't even know what to say, man. Uh, you you just you uh, phased out a little bit there with your connection. So yeah, uh, oh. yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't pausing. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't pausing because I didn't understand what you were saying. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> but you feel like like there's anger with you yeah. or clarification or something. I don't know. I'm trying to get a feel I for think this. It's more, I think it's more clarification. Because uh, you had a great I'm career. Not, I'm yeah. not angry, angry at all. You better. Yes, I had a great career. Wonderful time. Um, you sound like you're in Chicago. resentful, man. Uh, like you don't sound. It is like what it is, but I think there needs to be some clarification. Wow. You know about a lot of things that happened, whether it was in the documentary or through the GQ ad that I spoke uh. on. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know, <sighs> no, you know, no, how you were portrayed in the in the documentary, and, and obviously it was slanted. But I just, if everybody knew you signed a bad contract, did it need to be brought up? 
that you've signed a bad con. Like, I don't know. It felt like it was yeah, piling well, up. I, I think my biggest thing with the documentary was uh, that Michael, who didn't play in 94, who was selling a video based on The Last Dance, was something that he sort of tried to pull out to show that our winning was all about me and oh, wow. this is what everybody else did when i oh. uh, wasn't around oh wow wow Dang. because he didn't need that in his documentary i mean he wasn't on the team yeah you know and if anything if you're gonna show that you call phil why don't you show that you called Phil to bat for me? I mean, I probably was the only man standing um, who had been there with him back in the early 80s. I, but I, yet, he comes back the next year because it was getting good. We weren't fading away. Have you talked to Michael since the documentary? No. Oh, wow. Do you want? Not, not really talk. We kind of talked during it a little bit, but not, no. Mm. Do you want to? No, I mean, I think we both moved on in our life. There's nothing to be uh, holding on to that went on 20 plus years ago. Mm. What did you think? There is nothing for us to talk about that. I mean, we could talk about our life and our families and our golf game or something, but there's no, we ain't got to go back and clarify nothing that happened in the 90s. What, you still what did you like think when he said he was going to go play baseball? Um, I didn't really think about it. I was really uh, focused on my own crap at that <clears> time, <throat> but I thought it uh, was a big decision, though. Yeah, it was, it was a big decision, but it was a, it was a selfish decision, but it was kind of uh, wow. who Michael Jordan was. Wow. Um, that was a guy that kind of believed that he can do anything on his own. The relationship was just a, we're teammates and that was about it? I mean, yeah, pretty much. I mean, we were uh, excellent teammates. I mean, I okay. think we try to make more out of it sometime than what it really was. But, mm. you know, we were great court teammates who had a very good understanding of each other and mm. what it took to win. Okay. Talking to Scotty Pippen, he has a new bourbon out, Digits. Oh, uh, wow. Well, that's so, been in the works for a while. How did you come up with... Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, I, there's just a lot of the things he says about Phil Jackson being a racist and, and how Michael Jordan... All that stuff was planned for the video. I, I don't even know what to think. Sounded like he had a lot of. He's holding on a lot of a lot of uh, resentment towards uh, Phil. Um, towards the documentary, he just seemed like he's holding on to a lot of of of, of, of bitterness. To be honest, and it's kind of disheartening to hear the things that he was saying. Um, I understand part of that. What he, I I kind of agree. Like I'm, I side with him on partly of what he said about the Last Dance and how they portrayed Pippen in that series, in that part of that uh, documentary. I don't think they should have even added that that part of how you know that part, you know him and the organization. I thought that should have been deleted or not even added to the documentary. To be honest, but. Um, and it was parts of that documentary where I felt like uh, Jordan should have been more supportive of Scottie Pippen based on how the, the Chicago Bulls organization uh, was treating Scottie Pippen. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I don't know what to think. But anyway, uh, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I just thought I'd share my thoughts on the Scottie Pippen um, interview um, in this video.